This is Jake and Luke's first hunting video from 2010 deer season. Uh, we're hunting Madison, Florida, a good stand location, some oak trees in the middle of a cutover, uh, probably about 50 yards from a swamp. Good deer movement through the area, some mature does, and some smaller older bucks that I've been passing up during bow season. Luke's first up on the gun. He's excited to be on camera. He's already taped his own intro. It's bucks only. The following week is doe season, but for this hunt, Luke can only take a buck, and it doesn't matter to him. He's on the gun. He's ready to go. I'm going to get up in the stand and see what happens. Hi, I'm Luke Dorrance, here, and I'm out to shoot a big deer, and this is going to be my big day. And I'm going to shoot in the hunting blind, and I'm going to shoot a deer with a big gun. Bam! When is the time? Bada bang, bada boom! Just got in the stand, got settled down. Uh, it's about five minutes after four o'clock. Um, good day, winds in our face. Uh, it's a little bit warmer than what we would like. Uh, Luke's got the 410, and we're hoping to get some action tonight. The deer moved a little bit earlier yesterday um, than normal, and Herbert killed a nice six point about 10 after five, so. We're hoping to see some movement in the next 30, 45 minutes, and Luke is ready. He's wanting to take his first buck with a gun, and we're just going to keep our eyes open and see what happens next. When this younger doe starts coming in, we hear a buck grunt, maybe 200 yards out in the cutover behind some trees from us. And as he starts coming into the stand, he is grunting, sounds like every other step. The older doe hears this and she bails. She's either, she doesn't want any part of him. The younger doe starts to follow her. And it's getting dark fast. I'm really concerned that we're not gonna have good camera light by the time he gets in, because he's not moving that fast. Luke gets ready. We're waiting on him. He finally gets in there about 50 yards. Luke gets a gun on him. He can see him good. And as he gets into the stand, he's at maybe 20 steps. I put the binoculars on him and I can't see his horns. And the camera makes it look like it's a little bit more light than it really is. It really was dark. So we have to pass him because we can't tell what he is. He goes out across the cutover behind this doe. He's still grunting. Luke's disappointed and so am I but there's really no point in shooting a buck if you can't tell what he is, can't tell what he has on his head. So we're going to pass him up for now. Next week being doe season, he'll be perfectly legal. So we're going to see what happens then. On the gun is Jake, and you're going to see what happens when this deer comes back in. stand it's the second day of doe season and uh, yesterday we got shut out the loggers came in here and cut the timber behind us which really kind of forced us to get down leave and 
good day. It's not too hot. The wind's blowing our face. It's blowing a little bit hard, but we still should have some good activity. Not very many people in the woods today, so I want to sit back and see what happens. We've been in the stand maybe 20 minutes. This big mature doe pops out. She came in from downwind and she could tell something was wrong. And she's smart. She sits there just a few minutes. She's right on top of us, right practically in our lap. So Jake can't shoot her. She's on our left. He's sitting on my right. I got the camera and me both in his way. And all we can do is watch her go. She's a big mature doe in there by herself. Good deer to take, but if you can't get the gun on them, there's nothing you can do about it. So we have to watch her walk off, but there's more deer in front of us out in the cutover, so we're going to sit and wait on them to come in. Hopefully that buck will be with them. Big doe and the yearling doe, they start coming around to our left, which is good. Um, coming around, hopefully they'll come right in front of us. She kind of holds up as she gets into the trees because Sir Grunts a lot makes his first appearance. He grunts a few times, she looks back at him. They sit there for a minute, but then she moves on into the trees and obviously the trail that's over there on the left, she's going to come right in front of us. And I'm hoping that he follows her because he's got some trees between us and him. We really don't have a very good look at him right now. Well, as the doe works her way through the trees coming around to the left, the buck kind of hangs up. The camera has good line of sight on him because it's mounted on the left-hand side of the stand. However, neither Jake nor I have a shot at this deer. He's definitely the one we want to take. need to take him out of the breeding pool because he's obviously inferior. As the big doe moves her way in, she comes in about 20 steps from us, and I'm hoping that the buck will follow her because if so, it's going to be an easy shot, so I tell Jake to get ready. Problem is, he can't see the deer that I'm looking at. So we're holding up, waiting on him. If he steps on out there, we're going to invite him home for supper. Bug didn't want to come to us, so we went to him. He's not 120 class Boone and Crockett, but when they're marinating on the grill, they all look the same. So successful hunt on video. We're happy. Going to have some more hunting videos coming out real soon.